I greet you again today from Global Missions. It's a great opportunity to come and share with you reports about what God is doing around the world and also in North America. First of all, I'd like to give you a report from Tanzania, the Smokes. Our missionaries there reported that recently the Bible school students went to a city where I have had the opportunity of preaching. It's where we had a national convention several months ago, preached under a tree, in fact, and I'll never forget the little table they brought out, set a PA set up, and uh, we began to preach. It was there that we saw a little girl receive the Holy Ghost. She was one of 79, and when God filled her, she did not speak English, but when God filled her with the Holy Ghost, she spoke in perfect, perfect English. Well, I'm glad to report that just a couple of days ago, we baptized 71 people in that village in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also glad to report that at a local church in another area of the country, there were eight baptized in Jesus' name in Tanzania. Revival is being poured out on the African continent. Some of you may remember a testimony that I shared about a man by the name of Satish who comes from India. Satish was a student that left the Bible school, had no money, went and preached, and uh, I'm so thankful for what God has done through his ministry. Uh, also, he is one that could never get a Trinitarian minister to explain the oneness to him. He went to Sism Christian Institute. Since his graduation, he has now baptized over 1,000 people in the name of Jesus, and over 400 of them are pastors that have seen the light and the truth of the oneness of God. God is pouring out His Spirit in Asia and in India. Also from Europe, glad to report that in Paris, we now have a new church in the city of Paris. Also recently, I returned from a trip to Estonia, Czech Republic, and Kyrgyzstan. One of the most rewarding trips I've ever made was to Kyrgyzstan, where we had a oneness seminar. We had probably 30 to 40 leaders of different churches there. At the end of the seminar, we baptized 10 people in the name of Jesus. Three of them were pastors. But the greatest thing that took place in that seminar is that there was someone there from the country of Uzbekistan. We did not realize that there are people in Uzbekistan that baptize in Jesus' name. And I'm glad to report to you for the first time through this webcast, we now have a church in Uzbekistan, a brand new country open for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also from Sumatra, Indonesia, our missionary there, Brother Roger White, and the General Superintendent Amin Lee have now baptized five pastors, and I have a picture of them right before me being baptized in Jesus' name in Indonesia. But let me say revival is not only taking place around the world, but it's also taking place in North America. Recently, one of our deputizing missionaries reported that in one month, 180 people were filled with the Holy Ghost in services on deputation. In fact, up to this point on his deputation, 750 people have been filled with the Holy Ghost in North America. Thank God for what God is doing. Recently, I was in Winston-Salem where there were 85 commitments made in a faith promise service for a total of over $7,500 a month. Let me conclude with a report that I just received this morning from a country that is a Muslim country where we do not have a lot of freedom. But I'm glad to report to you that in a recent prayer conference, 47 people were filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and 27 baptized in water. Thank you for visiting Global Missions website and thank you for praying for us, for supporting Global Missions, and also for praying about you going to the mission field as well. God bless you.